What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to macOS Sequoia, I'll be happy to let you know by going into your system preferences for software updates. You can see now we have macOS Sequoia 15.1.1 and this device that I'm updating is my M4 Mac Mini. The first time I'm updating to a 0.1.1 update on this device. And for me, you can see the update size comes in at 798.1 three megabytes and this is not all that apple released you can see ios 18.1.1 alongside ipad os 18.1.1 we have ipad os 17.7.2 and we have mac os 15.1.1 alongside vision os 2.1.1 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel so if you want to keep up to date definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out my device is now up to date and if we go into the system settings right here and go to storage and click on the more info tab you can see it's just calculating the system data as well as the mac os and mac os is taking 19.01 gigs and if we click on the info tab right there you can see our new build number on mac os 15.1.1 the build number is 24b 2091 and in case you have a build number that's different it's possible for this version i'm gonna explain that in a little while but you can see apple intelligence is taking 4.45 gigs and at the same time system data is taking 9.29 gigs now this update has two build numbers and then, like i mentioned if you have two different ones you can see right there that this mac os 15.1.1 has this build number that you see 24b91 and 24b2091 and the 24b91 is a generic build number for all other macs but the 24B2091 is for the 2024 M4 Mac. So I have the M4 Mac Mini and that's why I have this build number, but it's possible that you are seeing this build number which is something that's different that this update offers in terms of what's new or what are the new features that this update has to offer there aren't many as this is a point of a point of an update but just to put it out there if you are already on mac os 15.2 betas then you won't see this update as you are already on a higher build in order for you to update to this mac os 15.1 you need a virtual machine or a partition or even run mac os 15.1 point one on an external ssd and you'll be able to use and test it out for your different softwares and applications and here if we go into the wallpaper section right there you can see these pictures were recently added and these go with the new imax that were recently released and you can see the different colors that we have and right there you can see imac green all the way to imac silver and as i toggle through them you can see how they look depending on the configuration or color that you choose you can see See those wallpapers correspond to this iMac brilliant wallpapers that we have and if you want to choose and see how they look on the iMac you can see here on the compare page right here you can see you can be able to compare the different colors right there and it will match the iMac that you buy as well as the accessories are braided and match the color of the iMac and now you have the wallpapers and you can choose from those as well if you go in the screen saver tab there are no new iMac screen saver yet i was hoping this would be an update that adds screen savers that correspond to those wallpapers but that's not something that we have but something else that's interesting especially if you've ever gotten a secondhand phone or maybe if you're like me and you have multiple devices with different passcodes and you happen to forget the passcode to one or maybe you have a child in the house that keeps putting the wrong passcode or pattern in your device and becomes unavailable then you certainly appreciate wondershare doctor phone Dr. Phone can easily rescue you from data losses for iOS and Android among other functions such as data transfer, system repair, screen unlock, among many more others. To demonstrate the screen unlock feature, I have an iPhone that's unavailable and we are going to be using Dr. Phone to bring it back to life. I'm quickly going to launch Wondershare Dr. Phone on my Mac device and in my toolbox you see the screen unlock feature allows you to be able to remove all types of lock screen and this works for devices with 
Face ID and Touch ID. It allows you to unlock Apple ID to fully gain access to your device. So if I click here, you can see the screen unlock automatically launches. And now I can select the OS. Since this is an iPhone that we are trying to screen unlock, then I'll click here. And under this section, you can see unlock iOS screen iCloud activation lock removal and since I want to just unlock my screen I'll select it right here and then I'll go click start the next screen you see right here if you have different devices it tells you how to put your device into recovery mode so let me quickly do that this is the next pop-up screen on our doctor phone screen unlock so I'll quickly click start right here and the firmware are ready to complete and now I'll click where it says unlock now and then just write the codes just to confirm and then click unlock and now it says lock screen has been removed completely check whether your device has successfully removed the lock screen and boom my device now says welcome to iphone swipe up to get started i can remove this i can lock my device and it will unlock like this so the lock screen has been removed and i don't have to wait for the 50 something minutes that my device was saying something that i really like about dr phone is the fact that dr phone was works on all major platforms and is optimized for the latest operating system so you can definitely expect blazing fast performance to learn more and try it out for yourself i'll leave links in the description of this video that you can check out and shout out to them for sponsoring this segment of this video something that i found interesting about this mac os 15.1.1 is that on the update page it mentions that this provide important security fixes and is recommended for all users but it doesn't mention any bug fixes but i was able to find some bug fixes especially in the notes if you are a person that is coming from mac os 15.1 and you were having issues with your apple intelligence where this icon was not showing up well that bug has been fixed or i closed the notes application and i tried in other applications that support writing tools and i'm happy to let you know that writing tools in apps that support it are working as intended and at the same time the slow delay or jira delay has been improved when it comes to this update and i want to show you the version of safari that i'm on right here so if we go to safari in case you're curious you can see this is version 18.1.1 that comes with this update of mac os 15.1.1 in the notes application you can see there is a pop-up that's going to tell you whether you want to be notified when mentioned in a shared note which you can opt into by going into the system preferences to be able to change a couple of the settings and at the same time you can see after updating i got two tips notifications one is telling me about highlights in safari which you can use to basically find the main highlights of a page it can be a hotel website and it to tell you booking times and locations and so on and at the same time you can see discover apple intelligence built into your mac to help you write and express yourself to get things done if i click on the apple intelligence tab right there for example it opens up this window and apple intelligence use personal intelligence to get things done and this is the tip application it's not the system preferences and you can see the animation that it had if I go next of obviously it's just showing me different slideshows to tell me to find the right words summarize with text cut to the phrase by summarizing and summarize an audio transcript which was existing but it's a new pop-up that showed up in the tips application that i thought i should show up if you go into your system preferences and go to your apple intelligence and series settings there is no chat gpt integration as mac os 15.2 is the update that's going to provide the chat gpt integration and yes with mac os 15.1.1 siri right here and apple intelligence is still in beta if you go to the launch pad right there and go to the first application which for me is the app store right here you'll be able to see that Apple recently released a number of updates for their productivity software such as iMovie, Keynote Pages and Numbers and at the same time if you are a person that uses Final Cut Pro I'll be happy to let you know that Apple recently released a new version of Final Cut Pro and it automatically went to the top page and this is Final Cut Pro version 11 it's faster and smarter than ever leveraging new AI enhancements with time-saving workflow improvements and 
edit special videos which have now been enabled after updating when you open up facetime for the first time then there's going to be a new video preferences pop-up screen that you are going to see i've already continued and accepted the changes but that's one of the new things that you are going to see if you are buying the new mac accessories and you're experiencing issues or you're among some of the users that reached out to me letting me know that they are magic mouse or trackpad or the new USB-C devices were experiencing issues sometimes disconnecting or sometimes just delaying i'll be happy to let you know that those actually are supported on mac os 15.1 and later and hopefully those issues are fixed because on my m4 mac mini i haven't experienced any issues with the trackpad so most of these that have USB-C, so the trackpad the magic mouse the keyboard are supported on this version and i haven't experienced any issues at least from the time i've been using it if you're trying to use these accessories and you're an older version of mac os which is before 15.1 you might experience those issues and at the same time if you want to see the compatible macs or ipads you can see the whole list right here now according to apple this update provides important security fixes and if we go to the apple security page right here it's a publicly available page and at the time you try and update your mac to this update you're going to see a direct link from the software updates page in the system settings that would bring you right to this but you can see the different versions that were released right here and for mac os sequoia 15.1.1 you can see here apple mentions the security contents of this update and for this update we have the javascript core which was updated and you can see that the issue was addressed with improved checks and at the same time we have this web kit which is the code behind safari and you can see that impact is processing malicious crafted web content may lead to a cross-site scripting attack apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited on intel based mac systems so if you are a person that have these macs that are the remaining intels that support mac over sequoia then definitely i would be looking forward to updating my device you can see right here for the mac model for the macbook air we have 2020 macbook air for the macbook pro we have three years so 2018 2019 and 2020 2020 for the mac mini if you have a 2018 then you have the ability to update to mac os sequoia if you have the imac the imac pro or the mac pro these are the release years then you have the ability to update your mac to mac os sequoia and you'll be able to be saved as this is an issue that was exploited on intel based mac systems so if i open up my calendar right here you can see there's going to be a new pop-up screen here it's going to tell me what's new in calendar schedule reminders suggested events and locations and other location preferences that i can change if i click continue right here you can see my calendar opens up but another application that i wanted to show you here is the free form application if you click on it and open it for the first time you can see there's going to be a new pop-up screen that's going to tell you to be creative build your own brand and collaborate and if you click continue that completely disappears we haven't yet got mac os 15.2 beta 4 last week on the 11th we got beta 3 and i was expecting beta 4 this week but apple didn't release that in fact they only released tv os on this date and vision os the latest beta versions but you can see this week since we've been basically on a week release for mac os 15.2 i'm expecting mac os 15.2 beta 4 perhaps on the 20th or maybe the 21st at the latest and then maybe if there's a beta 5 we'll see it next week but according to mark german apple might officially release the update on the december 12th for mac os 15.2 but then according to other sources like mac rumors apple might potentially release mac os 15.2 on the 9th of december so if you like this video and want to see more mac mini related videos how it fares with my 4k video editing and rendering different files definitely do hit like and subscribe and hopefully you enjoyed this mac os 15.1.1 video see you in the next one